Hey there, it's Vicki Marie. We're a few days out from camping. We're about a week, seven to 10 days out from camping. So, uh, but we're just getting ready. So John is uh, actually um, working on the camper a little bit. And I've got to run to Walmart and just get some, he wanted to grill tonight. So I'm gonna get some stuff to grill. I'm gonna get some uh, straps and, and, a, and a fan for the camper. So, um, so I'm gonna run to Walmart, look for a couple of things. But John said he's done a couple things in the camper. He did something for me to make my camping life easier. I have no idea what it is. And I thought I would take you guys along and let's go see what he did for me. All right, there's John, busy at work. You didn't put the step down for me. Oh, sorry. That's all right, I'll do it myself. Let's just pull this down. And he's just in here being a busy bee. So what did you, what's, what's the surprise? Well, I thought you might need a charging station. Oh, a charging station? Oh, for my phone and everything? Yeah. Oh. So? So see if you notice anything different over here. Uh, oh, this? Mm-hmm. Oh, you put that in? Yeah. Oh, so I can, pl oh, so what does that do? So now I can, so what is it? Well, it's a cigarette lighter. Um, oh, a cigarette lighter, plug. so. Oh, so I have to use a cigarette lighter to charge my phone? Well, yeah, remember you used to plug it in up here, see, remember? Well, yeah. See up here? Oh, I can't do that this time? Oh, well, no, you can, but all your stuff dangles down. You know, your chargers and stuff, because there's a No, plug no, no, there. I used to plug it in over there. Well, you can use that one, too. Oh, okay. Or that one, now you can use this one, too. Oh, and then you can use it for your radios. No, I don't need it for my radio. Oh, you don't? Mm -mm. So you just did it for me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a cigarette lighter thing you, so I can, oh yeah, cause I, oh, that's right. I do have that little cigarette lighter thing with the two USB ports right. on it. Right. So we can put that in there. Right. Oh, I'm under, okay. It's taken me a while. <laughs> okay. So I can open this up, put this in here. And then I've got the two USB ports right here. So that's for my phone and my camera. That's what he, he's taking good care of me. Roscoe's ready to go camping today, but it's not quite time, Roscoe. We gotta wait. Yeah, we're just getting things ready. <laughs> he loves camping as much as we do. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I didn't show you guys what I was having for breakfast and I thought, you know, I need to, I wanna get better at that. But I, I had a yogurt, um, Greek yogurt, and I had vanilla Greek yogurt, the triple zero oiki, whatever, oiki yogurt, <laughs> and a half a banana chopped up in it. And for lunch, I'm having an avocado cheddar salad, the ones I hauled from King Supers. Um, and I got these for John, you know, for his birthday. Well, I ended up eating them. I, I was gonna send them for lunches that week, but he had so much stuff going on at work that he wasn't even taking lunch. Mo, he had some workshop to go to and he was getting lunch at work. So I'm needing these and they're really, really good. And Roscoe's like super excited, which I don't know why, cause there's no meat in it, but that's what I'm having for lunch. The squirrel has outsmarted the bird feeder. Let's take a look. Oh, well, I think we scared him off. Oh no, there he goes. Okay, he jumps down, or he gets up on the bush, on that branch. Now he's able to bounce up enough to get something, and then he bounces back down onto the branch. <laughs> I guess the bowl of food I put in the tree for him isn't enough. Now there's another squirrel over here. Maybe that's why. See, this is where I put the squirrel food. And look, there's plenty. There's like plenty. The blue jay eats it too. But for some reason, that squirrel would rather go over there and try to eat from the bird feeder than this big bowl. See the little squirrel up there? Well, hello there. Am I in your way? Okay, I'll let you be. So I was editing my video and <laughs> and John's like, Vic, you have to come here. It's the cutest thing. So I ran over, grabbed my camera, went out to the, the deck and I was able to get a picture of the squirrel. And John's come a long way. Like it used to annoy him that I fed the squirrels and I know the neighbors feed them too. So we all just really enjoy the, nat the, the animals around here, except for the raccoons. <laughs> so. I don't know what to do about that, but um, I do bring the squirrel food in and the bird feeders, uh, I make sure they're empty um, or they're in that shed back there 
before uh, nighttime. So I always, I've been more careful about that, but it doesn't matter, the, squir the, the raccoons are gonna come and eat out of the garden. So I don't know what to do about them, but the squirrels, we really enjoy watching them. Well, I am heading out to Walmart. I've got a few things to pick up. Uh, I'll just show you guys, um, I don't know if I'm gonna film in the store or not, but I'll show you guys a few of the things I'm buying. It's mainly, it's not a grocery haul. I'm gonna pick up hamburgers for dinner. John's gonna grill, but it's mainly a couple things we want for the camper and uh, that kind of thing. So, and I might look to see if they have any cute t-shirts, maybe something like that. So we'll see. So I am uh, in John's truck. And I was just looking, I'm getting like 12.4 miles to the gallon. Woo hoo. I don't normally drive his truck. And uh, we usually, he just drives it to work, which is a short distance. And then we go, uh, we use it when we pull the trailer for camping. Um, normally we are in the car, but I took his truck today and I'm going to run into Walmart and um, get, uh, get a few things and I'm not feeling it. I do not want to be shopping. I, want, I wouldn't mind being like clothes shopping or something, but I just do not want to go into Walmart today. I'm dreading it, but I do want to go camping and we want a few things for our trip. So I'll do that. And uh, my phone um, has just been going through the battery. Like my battery's been drained, like draining so fast. And um, like in a, just a few hours and I'm not using it. So I went in and optimized it and made sure all the background apps were closed and uh and it's still doing it and it's getting warm so i turned it on ultra power saver just so i can make a phone call if i need to but so that's going on in my wonderful beautiful colorado day it is actually very pretty though today it's, it's warm it's clear there's no there's really no clouds in sight so we'll see if we get our typical afternoon storm clouds that we've been getting but all right, guys, I'm out here parked with all the campers in the Walmart parking lot, uh, and it's really making me want to go camping. <laughs> so I always park way out when I'm in John's truck. I don't want to risk. I, there's no way I would try to park this between two cars. So I, I'm way out here. So I'm going to get a little exercise, walk into the front door. Okay, I am in the camping section. This is what I came for, a fan. I'm looking all over the place for it. And it's here by the sealants and in an odd place. So, and I had to ask for help. They sent me to the other, the regular fan section. Couldn't find it there. I came back and found it here. So it's right with the stakes. If you guys want a battery operated fan for the camper, look where the tent stakes and tent accessories are. All right, I have to show this is the fan 1766, and that's for a 10 inch two speed. And it does run on D batteries, so I need to get. Uh, six or yeah, 60 batteries. And I'm looking at these. These look kind of cool. They're inflatable solar lights for outdoor. God, they're 19 bucks. That's way too much, though. I, well, these are only 12.88, but still, I'm not paying that much for those. All right, I'm gonna head on over and I need some uh, ratchets. Anybody know what ratchets are? That's what I'm on the hunt for. Ratchets. Okay, so the 10 foot ratchet hyper tie down 1396. And they're sort of running low. I have tons of these at home. He does not care for any more of these. And I, he likes these, but I like to get the, the grain free. That's the ones I like to get, but they don't have the grain free. I did order some though from walmart.com, so. I should be getting some of those. Hey, okay, I am going to grab these. They're not the grain free, but it's all they have. We have plenty of the peanut butter ones. I'll grab these too, because uh, the wrap. But we have the we have the peanut butter. These plenty of those and he's tired of them. He's gotten to where he won't eat them uh, if I put them out because he gets them every day. He wants to change it up. He likes something kind of different every day. I never know which one he's going to want and I know he's spoiled. A little bit louder in this car because, uh, well, it's, it's the truck. So, um, hey, I went over to Lori, Lori FLM Lifestyles channel and I used her fetch um, thing, her fetch code and I signed up and I just scanned my first receipt. So, uh, that was cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys. I'm not doing a haul, y'all. Just I'm just going to show you because I'm just doing a day in the life today. But I did pick up a couple things I wanted to show you. So 
Um, I did get the fan that I showed you and the ratchet. That's why I came, the rat ratchet. That's for, uh, we're gonna put a kayak on our truck here when we go to uh, our, our um, camping trip, you know, in a few, oh, about five days. So, like seven days, I guess. So uh, we're taking the, our big ocean, two-man ocean kayaks. This is a wound up, extra large shirt. I'm gonna sleep in it. It's uh, inhale the future, exhale the past and it's super super soft so this is going to make for a really nice sleep shirt it's 90 uh percent cotton 55 percent viscous or no five percent viscous 95 percent cotton so i'm going to uh sleep in that and then i also um wanted to get this other shirt it was a black shirt same brand and it said, I don't know what I'm doing on it in I think white lettering. I wanted that, but they did not have my size. So I didn't get it, but I would have gotten it because that's you know kind of how I feel half the time. <laughs> so uh, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I'm not gonna do a haul. Uh, I just kind of took you along. I don't know, when I get home, I think John's gonna grill. Uh, I need to still straighten up the house. It's already 3 p.m. And um, it's this is just sort of like a typical day for me. It's not very glamorous. It just is what it is. <laughs> so, um, yep. All right. I will uh, check back in with you guys when I get home. I'm back home and John's getting the charcoal ready for, um, he's doing the charcoal chimney. Uh, he's going to heat up his charcoal before he puts it on into on the grill. So here's John out in the wild. What you doing, John? Getting ready to start some charcoal. Got back from Walmart. John's got the charcoal heating up. We're gonna grill tonight, and mm -hmm. I had to get a Michelob Ultra. It's the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I like the Walmart pickup. It's less stressful. I actually sent her in to the actual building, so she's now recovering. <laughs> I know people think I'm just always this happy little shopper, but I'm really not, huh? <laughs> so, so I went into Walmart. I'm looking for, would you, you send me in for this fan. Battery operated. Battery operated camping fan. So I go to the camping section and I look all over and I can't find it. And so finally I asked the lady that's right there at the end of the aisle where I ended up finding it. She was right at the end of that aisle and I said, do you know where this camping fan is? Well, we don't have a camping fan. I said, well, it's a battery operated fan for the camper. And she said, oh, well, it's, we have some battery operated fans in the fan, in this, in, at the end of this aisle where the, the fans are. So I went to like the home improvement section of the store. And I looked all over and I couldn't find them. So I went back to the sporting goods. No, you called me first. Well, I called you first. And I said, John, <laughs> I cannot find these fans. And you said, did you look in the sporting goods? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and where did you find it? In the sporting goods. <laughs> but that's where I looked first. <laughs> Do you see why I, I budgeted 95 calories for the Michelob Ultra? <laughs> But <clears throat> let's not even talk about how many calories I ate in social tea cookies. Mm. Those strange, strange combination. But I'm eating reduced fat triscuits. <laughs> yeah, but these were probably, <laughs> I probably had 300 calories worth of these social tea biscuits. And you really haven't been socializing with me that much. I know. After you got back from Walmart. I know I haven't. You were kind of like recovering. I was recovering. You were in recovery mode. I was putting groceries away and eating, stuffing those in my mouth is what I was doing. <laughs> so it was really, really hot there. There were a lot of people. Really? It was hot in the store? It was just hot in the parking lot. It wasn't oh. too hot in the store, but it was hot in the mm. parking lot, and there were a lot of people in the store. Mm. I, I shared about how we have no tomatoes, and we're thinking the raccoons are eating right, the, the, buds. The, the buds off. You know. Well, no, we were thinking the raccoons were eating the tomato, is what I thought. Right. But you came up with another. Well, I was thinking a lot of our buds on the tomatoes are being eaten, so mm -hmm. I wasn't sure what's causing that. Yeah, so you thought maybe grass. Yeah, because I looked. I don't see any tomato worms. I don't know if you've ever seen tomato worms, but they're long and green and with a little horned 
head at the end. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen those, but we've a lot of grasshoppers, so I wonder if the grass eating the uh, buds on the tomato. Because mm -hmm. I've seen quite a few grasshoppers at tomato plant. Yeah. And I, you know, I really don't want to put any insecticides on our on our plants. So now we're trying to do it all natural. Right. So far, I mean, we've been we've our garden's doing really well. Uh, we've been keening out our ears, and like I said, yep. and yellow squash. But no tomatoes yet. And last year we got no tomatoes. Well, I, I've got some tomatoes, but they're green, so. But not, but, well, this year. Not we, as many as last couple years ago. But no. last year you, yeah, yeah. last year we didn't get that We many. didn't get any, and the year before that you got mm -hmm. quite a few, so. Yep. And then this year I've been taking over the garden, trying a little more out there. A little weeding. I've been watering. I and didn't, watering. I water and I weed and. You've been we, getting rid of the grasshoppers? No, because so I don't know how. Just pick them, throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Google it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the. Don't know what to do mm. about the grasshopper. I guess that's what's eating. Okay, well. I mean, it's only certain plants. I mean, I've got Roma tomatoes that they don't seem like they're touching. But then the early girl and the, what's the other one, Fat Boy or something tomatoes. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. They're just devouring the buds on those. So mm -hmm. Different, different type of tomato plant. They like certain things. I don't. Know. Hmm. By the way, did I say cheers? Oh, cheers. <laughs> and that's dinner. John's, you had provolone cheese on there and then that squash from our garden. So I am exhausted and I don't even know why. John did the dishes for me um, and then he went upstairs and he's kind of getting his shower and everything and I um, told him I'm just gonna sit doing the, my, my closing here and then we're gonna chill out and watch something on TV. I don't know what. Um, there was a, a movie called uh, War of Tomorrow, I think, that I think we're gonna try to watch on, I think Amazon. So uh, we'll probably watch a movie. I am though. I'm so tired. I don't even know why. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and uh, and and following my vlogs. I appreciate that so much. I am going to be doing an 800 subscriber giveaway as soon as I hit 800, which I'm super super close. I was going to wait till a thousand, and I realized it could be a year or longer. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to hit a thousand, and I don't want to wait that long to let you know how much I appreciate you. So I'm going to do a $25 Amazon gift card. I'm going to give one away. I'll announce that soon once I hit 800 and, um, and then I will let you guys know what, how I'm going to do that. So just a, a big heartfelt uh, hug and thank you from me. And I'm going to end my vlog here. Thank you so much. Take very good care guys. And I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.